Hello everybody, my name is Dustin Meyer and welcome back to another episode of Impact Photo. Today we're going to do something that I've done a while back, but I've been getting a lot of demand from you guys about it. It's what I call speed editing in Lightroom. Now for most of you guys out there, especially those of you guys uh, shooting South by Southwest this week, uh, you're going to be taking a lot of pictures and of course, you know, as much as you enjoy taking pictures, sometimes, you know, being chained to the computer is something that you probably don't enjoy. So uh, whether it's you know, weddings or senior portraits, headshots, uh, well, pretty much anything where you shoot a large number of pictures. Uh, the trick with this is to just go through these as quickly as you can, narrow it down to the top best photos. We're not really going through to do a whole lot of retouching and the color corrections that we're going to do is very sort of like overall general kind of corrections because the whole point of this is to narrow it down to your top photos so you can show them to your clients and that way they can take a look at them and then uh, let you know which ones they want you to uh, to work on later. So to, um, to get started here, we're just going to dive right into it. I've already... Um, imported all the pictures here uh, from a senior session that I did earlier this week and the key commands that I'm going to use today I'll just you know say them out loud so you know what I'm doing and then also um, I'll make a, a, a list in the the comments below so that you can actually see the keystrokes and whatnot too so um, without further ado I'm just going to shift click all the pictures here to me that look uh, fairly similar and then I'm going to click the letter N button in as in nighttime and that's going to bring us into, uh, I don't know, whatever view mode this is called, uh, survey mode, survey mode. <laughs> okay. And now the only other button I'm going to use uh, to select these images is the, uh, the pick tool, P as in Paul, uh, or also known as the flag tool. And I'm just going to hit the, uh, the right arrow. Uh, you can also set it to where the picture automatically advances once you make a selection, which also can kind of help speed things along here. So uh, most of these look fairly good. A lot of what I'm also looking for is posing and also, you know, light and uh, smaller details, uh, those probably being the very last ones on my list. So I picked three out of however many of this is. This is nine, so I already narrowed it down to a third, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna hit the G, G as in Gary button go back to uh, light table mode now this is always the one where i have a, a whole lot of very similar ones because you know it was windy that day uh, these over here maybe i'll skip those those might be some good behind the scenes ones later uh, so but most of the time what i try to do is pick no more than one row at a time if i can and let's see so for example that would be oh you know about uh, eight to nine images or so and there goes my tractor outside um, well, tractor, lawnmower, you know what I mean. <laughs> so uh, anyways, so I'll speak up a little bit and hopefully that'll kind of help uh, help you guys hear me over the background noise. So I'm just going to pick these four first and see what we got. Uh, hair, let's see, no, not really into that one. You can also click the X button to kind of minimize distractions. It also helps um, enlarge the picture. Let's see, no weird expression, okay good and eh, maybe we'll keep that one okay so back to G and what you guys can do is later on just go back and check the timer on the video to see uh, you know how long this actually takes of course you know give or take 30 seconds since you know I talk a lot <laughs> but um, so yeah and the other cool thing is yeah if you X these out then they just get bigger and bigger uh, the picture is making it a little bit easier to see them so uh, you know any sort of like weird distractions in the background or awkward poses and stuff you'll be able to see right off the bat even in the smaller thumbnails and then as you get closer and the pictures get bigger then you can actually see like the facial expressions to make sure they actually look the way you want them to again you know um, keeping in mind that uh, when you guys go back and time me, please take into account the fact that I talk way too much. Let's see, this one's okay. Um, I'm not being too picky here. Again, the whole point is to just get through these uh, with the mindset that your clients are waiting to look at these pictures. They're just as excited to see them as you were shooting them, and they're even more excited to order them. So don't make them wait, okay? Um, Okay, so looking at these two guys right here, these almost look the same, so honestly, I'm just kind of looking at the overall composition here. Uh, the rock here, um, let's see, I think I'm actually gonna go with uh, this guy over here, 
just because it's a little bit more separation uh, from the background, just off to the side here a little bit. I uh, got some good laughing going on. Sorry, I got my microphone in front of my monitor so you guys can actually hear me better. So uh, part of my screen is actually blocked because it's a big microphone. Sorry, you know what they say about big microphones. Actually, I don't know what they say about big microphones. I'm not an audio guy, I'm a photo guy. Uh, let's see here. Okay, looking good. And I need one more of these laughing ones. And you know what? If you have a hard time picking, just pick one. Because a lot of the time we are super critical, hypercritical of our own work. And I don't know about you guys, but I will nitpick apart, uh, you know, all this stuff to the point where I'll be, I'll be here, you know, all night. It's just, you know, and there he goes again. Sorry, that's not a mower, that's that's Bigfoot or Windigo or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, definitely, I like the waterfall feature over here better, so we're going to go with that one. Close this guy out. Let's see. And I apologize if the clicking on my mouse is too loud. Uh, don't really like the rocks over here, but I like the water. So we are going to have quite a few similar ones. Uh, X out. <laughs> uh, Face has turned a little bit more towards me. That one's a little bit away, so we're going to pick that one. And yes, I know some of you guys, I can hear you in the background saying, but Dustin, there's sunlight on her face, like on her nose. Uh, yeah, I, I know. But that's, that's, that's for another video. So, um, but I know that it can be fixed, so we're going to leave it as it is. All right, we're just going to look at these three since they're similar. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I think I like this one the best. Okay. And as you guys can see, um, I'm also kind of uh, selecting, you know, similar ones across the board, you know, all these horizontals further back. And then we've got the next three that are vertical. So let's take a look here. Uh, you know what? I think I actually, I mean, I like the green, so we'll leave that. And yeah, it's a little bit darker than the rest. And you know, what? I really like this one here because it shows well, we'll go with this one. It's a little bit more of a balance between waterfall and subject. All right, so next three. Ah, wrong button. Command Z, save your life. Command Z will save your life someday. Sorry, that was a regular show joke. Ham boning? Anybody? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Uh, head's tilted a little too much, so we might just go with the more kind of standard upright. This one's a bit more centered, so there we go. Now, also, uh, some of you guys, you know, maybe in the background saying, but Dustin, uh, you know, why did you pick this versus that? I mean, if you really want to know, it's personal opinion. Yeah, I could split hairs down, you know, the, down the middle when it comes to technicalities and stuff with pictures. Bam, that one's awesome. Keeping that for sure. Uh, and I feel like we've got a lot of the subject on the left side of the picture so far, so we're going to go with some on the right, uh, and I think we're going to go with that one. All right. Anyways, yeah, I, I could definitely, you know, split the hairs down the middle, but you know what? Honestly, a good piece of advice I got is when it comes to splitting hairs, save that for your clients, because when you have photo reviews or if they're having a hard time, uh, deciding between two pictures that are similar, that's when you need to jump in and really get your really specific, uh, you know, give your specific advice. Uh, because that's the other part of our job too. About half of what I do is the shooting and, you know, consulting with the clients. But the other half is helping them choose because, you know, our job, we look at pictures all day long. Uh, the, but, you know, they, they don't, especially ones that look a whole lot alike. They may shoot a lot that are, are very similar, but, um, but we have the eye to actually see the difference between all of these. Uh, not so. I wish I knew what the little shortcut for the X button was. Uh, I have no idea. Anyways, uh, I think you could also do uh, control click and that might get rid of it too. Uh, I like the head tilted back a little bit more on this one. Seems a bit more relaxed. Moving on. And, the, you know, one thing that will really slow you down when it comes to this is second-guessing yourself. Uh, you know, you, you go to workshops, you hear, uh, you know, whatever you want to call them, uh, 
rock and roll rock god photographers on stage jumping up and down saying you know buy my products or you know go to my workshops or whatever i'm not like that am i anyways <laughs> Um, one thing that I always hear across the board that really rings true for me, at least, is never second guess yourself. You are here. You're learning. I'm trying to teach you what I can uh, if there's anything to be learned. Um, and, you know, you're investing the time in this. So I think that... Um, oh, boy. It's the leaf blower. All right, people, get ready to rock. Anyways, <laughs> uh, but you're you're investing the time in this uh, to learn all about this stuff. So, and you've sat here and you know spent countless evenings and hours. Um, there it is. Okay, command click to close it. Ah, yeah. Okay. Look. See, we're we're learning stuff. We're teaching each other things. Uh, this one. Uh, you know what? I'm let go of that one. This one's okay. So anyways, you're, you're learning stuff, you're investing time, you know, time away from your family and, you know, time dealing with the leaf blower and, you know, so on and so forth. So you're sure about what it is you want to do. You're sure about what it is you've learned. Um, I think that, you know, stop second guessing yourself just because there might be another person involved uh, when it comes to your expertise, like a client or a competitor or a vendor or whoever, your mom. Sorry, mom, I actually wasn't talking about you. Um, but when it comes to that kind of stuff, you know, stop second guessing yourself. A lot of you guys have been doing this for years. So why, um, you know, why why doubt yourself? I can't tell you how many times uh, I, I've, you know, gotten depressed or gotten my, my business all jacked up or whatever because, um, you know, because I doubted myself. And I think, um, I think that's a big problem that, you know, a lot of our problems stem from is, you know, lack of self-confidence, low self-esteem, you know, and, and it's hard too, because in this business, you know, this is our creativity, you know, this, we're, we're really putting ourselves out there because, um, you know, I'm just blabbing here, but I feel really passionate about this stuff. If any of you guys have questions about why I'm keeping or not keeping some of these, um, then, you know, just let me know. But I, I do want to keep getting through this stuff because I want you guys to see. Um, did I already go through these? I think I did. Yeah, see, this is what happens. I got distracted. <laughs> um, so it's just um, command click, getting rid of all these ones that, you know, aren't really good. Mm, we'll keep that one looks the same and that one looks good okay so I'm telling you you know what lack of self-confidence I can't tell you how many times I you know lowered my pricing too much or took way too much criticism or just got you know just way too depressed um, and you know, my home life suffered because of it my pricing suffered because of it the rest of my clients suffered because of it it's um, you know, it affects every part of, you know, who you are and what you want to do for a living. And it's, it's terrible. It's awful. Like it can really mess you up. Um, you know, it's, uh, so anyways, not to, not to be a downer. Let's see. There we go. And sorry, I keep after peeking around my microphone. Uh, I'm doing this for the sake. Uh, I've got my mic set right in front of uh, my monitor for the sake that you guys can actually uh, hear me a little bit better because I know sometimes I gab way too much. There we go. There's no particular reason also why I'm, you know, selecting and then flagging or flagging and then selecting. So it's it's just, you know, whatever I can think of, whatever I think to do while I'm talking too much. Let's see. All right.
to do. Now, sometimes, you know, I'm also, sorry, I wasn't talking at all. I must have been really quiet. Awkward silence. Sometimes, you know, I see a picture and even though it may not be one that I would pick, uh, I, I still might throw it in there for the sake of variety. And because, you know, you may like a particular pose, you may like a particular expression a whole lot. You know, I know sometimes it's really awesome to get a really nice non-smiling expression of your clients because it's so different from the smiling. Uh, but I've been guilty of actually picking way too many not smiling photos uh, versus the smiling ones. Um, okay, now, quick note. Uh, this one here, great shot. However, it's too close. Chances are mom and dad may want to order an 8x10. And if that's the case, most of you guys know it's going to crop off the top and the bottom. And it'll crop in, you know, because it'll be cropped in so much closer, it's just not a very flattering for an 8x10. So um, I usually try to keep it somewhere from about the waist up or the hips up. So um, if I was doing a headshot, then yeah, I'd keep that one. But Anyways, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I don't know, maybe one of you guys will jump up and tell me. Um, oh yeah, smiling versus not smiling. Uh, oh yeah, this, sorry, she's in a steampunk and this is her grandfather who I believe is from, oh God, I remember their accent. I wanna say either Irish or Scottish. I can't remember. Anyways, uh, I gotta throw one of these in there because it's just awesome. She's into steampunk. He grabbed her hat and her uh, her goggles, and I was just like, "Yeah, click, click, click." Okay, so we have a lot of these here, which is fine because uh, we can look real quick and get rid of the ones where there's you know blinking or crazy hairs. But you know, just like when it comes to um, you know selecting ones, you know, think about. You know, a, a good variety, smiling versus not smiling, you know, uh, more kind of posed versus not posed. Um, let's see, uh, no, we'll let that one go. It looks cool, but you know, not for the, I always try to imagine like, okay, what would my clients actually think if they were sitting here in the studio during the photo review? Like, why did he keep that one? Like that one would be all right if her eyes were open more, but, um, yeah, see, not quite. Now the only, okay. You also have the chance to go back and do a round two, you know, go through all these again, but this is also one of those things where, let's see. You know, we are really just trying to get it down to speed. Talk, talk, talk. I feel like I'm taking way too long. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, the hotkeys that I'm using are the letter uh, N, N as in Nightshade, or Nightwing, actually. <laughs> uh, actually, there's a quick shout out to uh, my friend uh, Mayhem's Muse. Go check out her channel on YouTube. I'll put a link in the comments below. Um, She's, uh, she's modeling and does acting, and she also does a lot of live streaming on uh, video games. So if you guys like watching Let's Play, she does a lot of Final Fantasy, plus she also does like some uh, live streams of actual like uh, card games and board games that she does at a nearby uh, uh, shop. So um, I should have turned that off. Hey, how's business? Business is good. All right. Anyways, I always forget to turn off my desktop notifications. Um, but you should go check her out. Uh, she also just recently got the part for a new, um, <clears throat> it's like Batman and Robin, uh, web series, but it's from the point of view of Robin and she's playing Oracle. So I'm really excited for her. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. So, um, you can go check out her YouTube channel. And, um, I'll, like I said, her name is Mayhem's Muse and I'll put it in the comments below. Um, it is one thing that she and I have in common is we are into our comic books, that's for sure. In fact, uh, speaking of which, comic books are um, actually one of the reasons, uh, one of the ways I learned about uh, composition. So um, I know you're kind of like, what? Composition? Well, you know, it's you know kind of like looking at one of these pictures here. Um, you know, 
person's on this part of the frame, tree's on this part of the frame, we got a bunch of leading lines. Bzz, bzz. I don't know, my mouse is moving too quickly. You know, here and then here, vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, diagonals, diagonals. It's all comic books, folks. It's how I learned, but everybody learns their own ways. Um, so, I don't know, interesting tidbit about yours truly. I don't know why people always say yours truly. I guess that's how people sign them at the end of a Christmas card or something like that. But anyways, a little interesting tidbit about me that, um, oh yeah, there's dad keeping that one. Sorry, that that's for the clients. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, so I actually uh, started reading comic books back uh, when I was a kid, back in the uh, woo, you know, mid 80s. Uh, but really, really got into them around the 90s. And, um, nope, eyes are closed, bite. And, like, these are almost identical. There is really no reason why I'm picking one versus the other, in case you guys are like, but wait, wait. So, no, no. <laughs> um, nope, head's tilted back too much. That one's better. Hair is a little bit in the mouth, but you know what? It kind of looks cool. Besides, if it there we go okay anyways um that's you know everybody's got their own way of of uh you know being influenced by you know whatever it is albeit comic books hello kitty david bowie you know whatever believe it or not these are all qualities that i found in my wife whom i love very much she is a uh She's quite the unique gal, and trust me, as soon as I found out all these qualities about her, I swooped her up before any of my other nerd friends could find out about her because they would go straight for her just like I did. <laughs> Love you, babe. <laughs> uh, let's see, that looks good. And then we'll keep, keep that one too, just for kicks. And some of you guys may be thinking, okay, you know, these seem like filler a little bit. Yeah, maybe I may go back and trim through them again, but really it's just, you know, trying to get it down to a manageable number. So I think we've got some of these from before. Okay, big field shots. These ought to be pretty quick because the posing is going to be... There we go. Sorry, do you guys have I'm a little teapot in your heads right now? No. No, I don't. I, I sure don't. Let's see. Crazy expression. There we go. These are these are fun. These, you know, they may not order these, but yeah, you guys may be asking that. Why is he putting these, you know, obvious, you know, outtakes in there? And the reason is we had a lot of fun doing this shoot. I'm telling you, the, the place where we did them... Um, it's this girl's uh, aunt and uncle's uh, home outside of uh, this small town in uh, the hill country in Texas here, right on the river, uh, really big property, gorgeous. I mean, this is their field, also that big creek with the waterfall back there and everything, um, and the, you know, the house and all this stuff. You know, we probably spent about three hours on this shoot, and a um, whole lot of fun, you know, and of course, I don't always know a whole lot about my clients. You know, I know who they are, maybe like, what their interests are like you know swimming or football or you know whatever it is but little things like steampunk or comic books you're not going to find that out until the actual photo shoot so um i guess part of leaving some of those outtakes in there is to kind of help um sort of relive that fun let's see here now i know okay there we go I knew like these two right here are not quite sharp because I, I cheated. I looked at them yesterday. Just just those two, I promise. And then let's see, we might do one that's just a little bit zoomed out, a little bit more. And there comes the leaf blower. There we go. Can you believe it? I've only had one cup of coffee today and zero sleep. In fact, I couldn't fall asleep last night. This is her brother, by the way. We'll just throw that one in there for fun. Um, yeah, they're probably not going to order. Well, who knows? Maybe they will. You never know. Um, 
but you just kind of gauge it based off of you know your experience with the client you know were they fun loving do they have a good time were they cracking up um or were they just really stoic and serious sorry um <laughs> because uh those people aren't so much fun when it's like that it's kind of like awkward silence the whole time let's see do, 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 do. okay forehead wrinkled no poor guy he couldn't really see much without his glasses so he was trying really hard i hope i was able to edit that out <laughs> anyways um so where was i Oh yeah, I was talking about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I was talking about no sleep, one cup of coffee, and then I was talking about him, but I'm going to go back to the no sleep and one cup of coffee thing. Let's see here, so we are going to keep that one, and I'm just doing this before I lose my uh, my pace here. Okay, so like I said before, Nick, you know, when you guys time this thing, maybe shave off like a minute, two minutes, maybe, you know, because I talk too much. Um, I'm just trying to keep y'all entertained. Anyway, so one cup of coffee and uh, zero sleep last night. So I watched on my phone with my headphones um, a marathon of all three Hobbit movies, extended edition. So um, I'm surprised my eyes are even working. And we'll go with that one. It's um, it's kind of a miracle. I'm surprised I'm actually even awake enough or able to even stay on topic. Stay on topic. And we might, yeah, no. I'm letting too many filler shots in there. Um, no. No. Um, but... Uh, yeah, staying on topic, is that what I was saying? <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted. I am absolutely exhausted. And we'll throw that one in there. Sometimes, they, you know, parents want like pseudo casual, pseudo corny, you know, maybe for a black and white, that kind of thing. So, um now, I, I did have to get a lot of these because um, because one of the people in this picture was a blinker, and you know what I mean when I say blinker. Someone who, not like in your car, you, you know what I mean. Someone who just blinks. You know, a trick that I learned that seemed to do a pretty good job was... Um, I, made the, I made the mistake of always, you know, counting one, two, three, click... And then people would just instinctively um, start blinking on three. And it just got so annoying. So finally, um, either one stopped counting or two would just uh, count random numbers and talk about throwing them off. Or I would delay. I'd be like one, two. Eight. Click. See, I got you. And that way they don't know when to blink. Okay. No. Someone in these pictures kind of has like a slightly strange smile. So I'm just kind of... Oh, you know, and I guess the other thing, too, that kind of kept me up was the uh, the fact that we watched, um, like, the first three episodes of the current season of Walking Dead. We're trying to get caught up on that stuff. Um, so, yeah, that might have had something to do with it, too. We are getting close, folks. Okay. I, I thank you for hanging in there with me. I know that uh, sometimes I have them look at each other just to kind of help them relax a little bit. And lawnmower, here we go. Um, and we're just going to let go of those. Let's take a look at these. Uh, 
Alrighty. And anyways, man, I, I'm barely holding on. We're almost there. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. This family was silly. I got to tell you, I love it when I get to work with families that, you know, are able to relax and able to actually get along with each other. You know, it, it's, it's nice because it is, it's frustrating getting, um, Oh, see, they're all making fun of me for my posing and stuff because I always tell people, you know, kind of bend the, fir the the forward knee, put your weight on the back leg, roll the shoulder back, and they're all like, okay, here's how Dustin told us how to do it. Put your left leg back, shift your weight on back, roll your shoulders back, and bring the chin on out. Sorry, I just made that up, and that is exactly what I tell people to do. <sighs> all right, coming soon on iTunes. It's the... Um, the, the Hosey Posey by Dustin Meyer. <laughs> Man, I'm really lacking on sleep here. Oh, yeah, pick. Sorry. Okay, maybe shave off like three minutes of the total time it took for me to get through this. Let me just uh, pull this up here. Uh, I always start out kind of zoomed out quite a bit in case they want to do a much bigger picture, like a 20 by 24 or larger. Um, and then let's see. Let's go through these real quick. Almost there, almost there. Doing good, doing good. Making sure everyone's looking at the camera. And I think that's the one right there. Sometimes it's always the first. You never know, each group is different. Sometimes it's the first one out of the series. Sometimes it's the last one. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Okay, so let's check the fruit of our laborers here. So we started with 307. And we narrowed it down to 81. Oh, sweet. Wow, that's like, is that less than a third? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, awesome. So now what you can do is you can go back through these and you can do a second run I'm not gonna do that today because one, I'm exhausted, and two, um, this video's gone on long enough. So, um, but you can go back through all these again and you can just kind of pick and choose. It actually goes so much faster when you have less uh, less number of photos and you've got you know a bunch of, you know, like two or three that are similar, boom, just take one out, you know, and you can cut it down even more. Um, However, there is one last tip. Um, depending on the amount of time, or say, like with my sessions, you know, outfits that you have for something like a senior session, uh, try to keep um, a you know a certain number per outfit or per hour that you shoot. So you know, some people like for what I do, if it's like a six outfit session, then um, you know I may have like ten or fifteen images per outfit. So um, we're a little bit over on that number here because we also had some family pictures that they wanted to do in here as well. So, um, so that's it. That's uh, today's uh, lesson on Lightroom speed editing. I am so sorry if uh, my, my ramblings and everything else were just, woo. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, uh, make sure to check out my friend uh, Mayhem's Muse channel if you are into gaming or acting or, you know, uh, if you want to get good ideas on modeling and all that stuff. She's just a really cool person. So I'll put the link in the comments below. Also, um, I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Nikon and Portrait Pro. And I'll put the link uh, for those guys in the comments below as well. And um, also, I just started up a new channel on Patreon. So I'll put a link down there too. I just got started. Um, so as I mentioned in my last video, if you guys like what, um, you know, if, you, if you're learning something, if you like the, the programming that I'm putting out there, you know, uh, you know, you can share the videos, like them, subscribe, you know, watch the videos, all that, it's great. It also really helps for each one of you guys. Um, you know, you can pledge, you know, on a monthly basis, like $2, $5, you know, something that, you know, it's less than a subscription for Netflix. Um, and it, it really helps support this channel. It allows me to uh, put together better videos, spend more time on the editing, um, and, sorry, I say I'm a lot. 
anyways. So I'll put a link to the, um, to the Patreon channel below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Dustin Meyer with Impact Photo and we'll see you next time. Mouth and nose. We're gonna zoom into the face and just kind of keep an eye on the teeth again just to make sure everything's looking good. Nope. Sorry, I have to have a little bit of fun with it. Let's see. And also, uh, for Cedric here, uh, we are going to go down to uh, hip saturation. Let me make that zero. There we go. And uh, the contrast, if uh, the softening has a little too much effect on uh, the 